Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Bree. This is basically in like an organized get ready with me for the baby kind of video. I'm actually just kind of prepping last minute stuff uh, for Aaron and getting everything ready. So, and I added a little bit of clean with me also as I'm cleaning Ari's room as well. Wish that I could stay in this moment forever so I can hold you in my arms. I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm able. Scatter monsters under your bed. Deep in the I'm just throwing stuff in the basket. Stuff I need to organize, stuff I need to wash. I set a lot of this up throughout the last few months actually um a lot of this stuff is well yeah majority of it is Ari's from when she was little and I just washed everything and hung it up and separated them by size here in the closet and it goes way right here little focus she has a few blankets here burp cloths um, I need to really just kind of go through all this I had like I said I washed everything then I just kind of put it mommy. in here yes baby mommy you got money her bibs burp cloths uh what else mommy, like how pants does your and look, mommy? some white ones it's just stuff random stuff that I need to go through and organize really I just kind of washed everything and put it up out the way she has a bathtub here. My sister bought her this swing, which I'm gonna take out the box and put the batteries in to make sure it's working and things like that. And yeah. so we're gonna get going on this. Huh? OMG, y'all. I have I was about to order another base. <laughs> this why he be cussing me out because I'll be trying to order stuff and we already got it. All the stuff is in the attic that I definitely forgot about. I don't know what the heck this is, but I'm gonna wash it. And hopefully it comes out. Sorry. Right. Is all the stuff for Sissy? Thank you. Gotta wash it, mommy. You gotta wash it, get ready for sissy. <laughs> yeah, you gotta wash it too. Right here, I'm just getting all the new clothes that I've um, gotten or have been given to go ahead and throw it in the washing machine to get it all clean and Ari just had to help mommy so she's taking out all the wash rags and yeah about to throw them in the basket she has to help me with absolutely everything is the cutest so yeah
Okay, so I'm just throwing everything in the washing machine, but I do have a question. I, when I first had Ari, I was all about Dreft laundry detergent, and now I use all, the, the baby all. So leave a comment down below and let me know, do you guys use Dreft or do you guys use like another brand, like how I'm using the all baby brand? Cause I'm, it's interesting to see how people want either or. gonna go ahead and do is just sterilize the smaller bottles I have uh, I do have like the nine ounce bottles but when she gets here she's not gonna be drinking out of those obviously so this is what four ounce bottles so I have I think I got a dozen and I thought I had more but I'll eventually get more, but for what I have right now, I'm just going to go ahead and sterilize those, the nipples. Um, I thought I had more pacifiers. Like, as I'm going through everything, I'm realizing that I don't have everything. So, for me to be uh, six weeks away, I ain't good. So, yeah. So, I'm, I'm boiling the water now, so I'm just going to go ahead and get that ready. Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives. Mm -hmm. I don't need that type of drama and trying to be tough all the damn time. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch. Okay, I'm gonna do it the old school way. I understand that they have new things out and everything like that today, but I'm gonna use the old school, boil some water, and throw the nipples, the bottle tops, the bottles, the caps, the pacifiers, everything in there. To me, it gets the job done just the same way. Get over yourself, are you for real? Why are you looking at me so cold? One's love is not worth enemies. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong. I'm ready for the rematch. Shoot me down, don't you know I get up? Yeah, baby, I will fight. No, there ain't nothing stopping me. Okay, so now I'm basically trying to see what I can wash, trying to get things uh, taken off of like the bassinet, the bouncer, the playpen uh, base, bottom, whatever it's called, the high chair. Um, I was struggling with this bassinet. It was making me mad. I, <laughs> oh my gosh, it was like so frustrating. But um, yeah, I'm just taking everything off so I can go ahead and wash everything since it had been in the attic since we moved in. <laughs> Thank God for having a man in the house because I don't know what I would do without him. <laughs> I get so frustrated when things don't go the way that I feel like it's supposed to go. So I'll go get him like, can you do this right now? And it's, it's funny, but he basically helped me break it down some more and, um, take, was able to finally take it off so I can wash it. So that's all we're doing right here. Every inch of me is hurting and I, I just want to leave it all behind. I'm breaking up with you tonight Yeah, you know it's hard to say Yeah, you know it's not okay I can see it in your face 
Um, I don't have a nursery for Aaron, though I could change the guest room into the nursery. I kind of wanted to leave the guest room as it was so what i'm just gonna do is throw her like this will be her little corner right here um we still have to keep like fix the tv that's why you see the tv hanging like halfway off or whatever but um yeah this will be her corner where her bassinet will be and her playpen and um i'm trying not to let her fall asleep with us like co-sleep because i learned my lesson with ari and i'm still trying to get ari to sleep in her room 100% of the time so I'm trying to stick on like stick with it and be like okay no she's gonna be in this bassinet this time and yeah so we'll see how it goes I'm definitely gonna keep you guys posted but leave that in the comments as well like do you guys co-sleep with your kids or did you learn your lesson the first time like how did it go the second time like what what did you guys do let me know told you guys in the beginning like I don't know what was going on with this playpen I was struggling and it took me like 15 20 minutes trying to figure it out before I went and got Aston and just had him do it and even then we were still kind of struggling but yeah I who I was getting so frustrated As you guys haven't seen throughout the video I've been wiping everything down because like I said obviously it was in the attic and it was dusty and just yeah I needed to wipe everything down make sure it was all clean and get it ready for baby girl With us, it's all or nothing. Ooh, but guess I need more of you I don't know what I did with the sheet. I have two. I think it's a white one and a purple one or a white one and a pink one. I don't know where it's at. So. It is now the next day. So this was over the, yeah, it was over two days. So I had to take a break. I, <laughs> as you seen in the last clip, I was getting frustrated. But, um, so I said, okay, just start over again tomorrow. So I'm just basically finishing setting up this corner and putting her diapers and things like that in here, getting her uh, bouncer situated and everything like that. And then I will be going into Ari's room and putting everything up in her dressers um based off sizes and we'll be cleaning Ari's room because while I was in there, I'm like, okay, might as well just go ahead and clean it up.
it's all or nothing Basically what I did, Ari's side is on the left side and then I put Erin's stuff on the right side and right here like I have her towels and her washcloths and socks and things like that and then I think on the top and bottom drawers I have her onesies and again I have it separated by sizes. So the top drawer is like her, um, like the all white onesies, the newborn and then I'm pulling from the bottom drawer and putting all the newborn sizes up there as well so that way it's just easier for uh, not only for myself, but Aston as well. If I need him to go and grab something, then he already knows exactly where to go get the newborn sizes for right now. Okay, you guys might see Polar Express on the TV. Don't judge. <laughs> I kind of got my daughter in the Christmas spirit just because <laughs> it's Christmas in July on the Hallmark Channel. So I've been watching all the Christmas movies. And so she's been excited about Santa Claus and all the reindeer and things like that. So the thing that I can put on for her as far as that was kid friendly was Polar Express. And she has been obsessed with this movie ever since. So we've been watching Polar Express like every other day. We're ready for the holidays, whatever it is, what it is, okay? <laughs>
is shaking but not stirred Just a lesson that I've learned And so it goes Tables turn in your own all right guys so that's it for this video i hope that you guys found this helpful um for any first time mom second time third time whatever if you guys just needed uh, some organization getting ready for your baby motivation and i will see you guys next video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and join the family guys bye